Today is December 27, 2016. Uh, we've had some cloudy days, but uh, so far today is sunny. I think maybe the clouds are expected to move in and maybe at least end up being uh, partly cloudy. So we're going to take a look at uh, the 20 solar panels in the new system and kind of see what is happening. Uh, so basically this is, this is going to be like an update. So the main capability that has been uh, added is the installation of... Uh, Effergy, E-F-E-R-G-Y uh, system. There's some com there's uh, some components that have been added, and uh, that includes a uh, and without the names of the the specific names of the Effergy products in front of me, uh, it's basically a, a sort of a transmitter. This was part of a kit, so there was a transmitter and then this uh, portable receiver, uh, indoor portable receiver. The Effergy is using radio waves to transmit, and it actually has uh, quite, quite a good range. Uh, and then that will also... That, it, that also included a hub, which I have right here, this Effergy hub that uh, hooks into Ethernet that also receives the radio signal that uh, makes the output available online. Now normally with these uh, Effergy uh, Units, you know, there. I think the the main intent is for you. You can re monitor your uh, home energy usage uh, remotely. Well, in my case, I'm not doing that. I'm just using it to monitor what's happening with the solar array remotely. And so you can see right now, uh, the top line is the one I'm concerned with. It's 2.1. 2,183, now it jumped to 2,435 watts. It's about uh, 8.55 in the morning, 8.55 a.m. And as, uh, so by about 10 o'clock, it'll be about 4,000 4, 4, watts, 4,100, 4,200 watts. That's, a, that's about the maximum and uh, per hour. So, uh, but it gives me the ability to uh, also, because of the uh, Effergy, the hub right there, that gives me the, all, the added ability to uh, remotely monitor the output here on, you know, my phone or uh, on any kind of mobile uh, device, tablet, uh, they have Android, both Android and uh, iOS versions. Now it's about, uh, it's getting close to, I don't know, 1045, maybe, uh, I think it's about 1045 a.m. And so we're, uh, at this point, uh, 4,220 watts. So here we are out at the array and uh, a look inside the box and you can see what makes the remote monitoring possible. So we can see if I can get rid of the reflections the uh, meter that is in the box right now is showing what is it about 42 4300 watts uh, I'd say a consistent 4100 watts anyway at 17.8 17.9 amps that's in the upper right corner of the, the meter the watts are down in the lower left 
the voltage uh, 248 volts and in the upper left so what we have here we have the uh, effergy EFERGY uh, electric electricity monitoring uh, transmitter and uh, that is wired into uh, the AC it runs on 110 volts the little transformer that runs this they did have and they may still have a battery operated version but uh, you periodically have to replace the batteries and so with it being wired in directly uh, that uh, kind of eliminates the need for uh, uh, battery replacement periodic battery replacement and so you have two clamps here that uh, also connect to the uh, transmitter and so that's what's actually monitoring the output and so right down here since this is a metal box we also installed an AC outlet down here in the metal box you see the uh, this is for the antenna that's a I think a YAG or YAGI antenna not sure of the pronunciation of that and so that is on the that's mounted now on the back side of the box and so that allows the uh, radio transmission to transmit over a broad area of my property right inside the house of course the house you know it's got vinyl siding there's no metal uh, siding on the house so I've got uh, good coverage of this uh, Effergy transmitter. I've got good, really good coverage uh, uh, over a broad area, a very broad area of my property way, way back behind my house. So starting at the uh, east end of the array, we can see that uh, all of the micro inverters are functioning that one's particularly noisy for some reason some of them are more noisy than others. At this point, if you can see where the little laser pointer is, uh, if it'll focus on the screen, the LCD screen for the uh, thermometer, the infrared thermometer, the uh, back of the solar panel is measuring about uh, 100 degrees or so. Sorry for the traffic going by behind me. The surface temperature of the inverters, at least that one, seems to be about 94 degrees. Check the next one, that one's about 93 degrees. Uh, 
another sm uh, spot check of uh, if it'll show up. I can't really see if it's showing up very well or not. Uh, give it a different position here. About 100 degrees on the back of the panel there. If it's focusing, I can't really see if it is or not. Come down here to another inverter. About 95 degrees. We'll come down here to the one that is uh, particularly noisy. If that's showing up, it's reading about uh, 104 degrees. That particular one. Of course, you know, it may or may not, each inverter may or may not have a little bit different output level. That's possible. That one's reading 96 degrees. Okay, now on the front side of the panels, uh, I don't know, it seems to be reading about 80, up to 90 degrees, upper, upper 80s to 90 degrees. Of course, all these temperatures are in uh, Fahrenheit. All right, now the ground temperature, uh, depending on where I aim it at, is about uh, between 55 and uh, 60 degrees. And reading the back side of this tree right here, it looks like, I'd say the ambient temperature here is probably uh, 42 degrees or so. So it's now about uh, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And as you can see, the solar array is uh, mostly in the shadows at this point. And so, taking a look at the power meter. Right now it's reading 709, 709. And so earlier today it was reading uh, 7, I believe it was 731. Took a picture of it, I'll insert that right here. So that means that uh, with the sun, shining pretty much steadily all day long although I didn't get out here uh, until about 9 30 this morning uh, that I know of I generated about uh, 22 kilowatt hours that's what got fed back into the uh, grid and of course there's just a regular load going on there in the house uh, Usually it's about uh, probably 500 watts, 400 watts, sort of depending as nearly as I can figure. And so 22 kilowatt hours really isn't bad for uh, uh, December. Now we've had a, a number of cloudy days and there's going to be more cloudy days. So... Uh, the real, where it's re really going to begin to start becoming interesting is in the summertime uh, when the, there's a lot more hours of sunshine. Uh, that, uh, you know, kind of feeding in to the grid, uh, and especially if uh, my usage is uh, fairly light 